Take an example of me. So as a classic engineer, I don't want to say stories or heart touching stories. All aspiring engineers and designers should definitely take a note from you. In today's fast changing world, sustainable innovation is gradually emerging to be the foundation for a better and brighter future. And young minds are constantly striving to make this vision a reality. Supporting these young minds, Dyson recently concluded its annual engineering competition, the James Dyson Award in 2023. This International Design Award serves as a platform that celebrates, encourages and inspires the next generation of inventors who have ideas to improve our planet. The award is run by the James Dyson Foundation, James Dyson's Charitable Trust, as a part of its mission to get young people excited about design engineering. Today, we have with us the national winner of the James Dyson Award 2023, Praveen Kumar from Chennai. Praveen is the founder of Dextroware Devices, an assistive tech startup located at the IIT Madras Research Park. Praveen's innovative solution aims to empower individuals with disabilities. Let's learn about Praveen's innovation and the idea behind developing it. So Praveen, welcome to Jagran New Media. Thanks for having me here. It's a great privilege and honor to be here. So Praveen, why don't you tell us more about yourself and your journey? So I'm Praveen Kumar, a 25-year-old engineer trying to make uh, impact in the space of uh, digital accessibility through technology. So we have come up with this uh, uh, technology called Mouseware. So Mouseware is a wearable device which gets mounted to the person's head where they can control computers and smart phones and other smart devices with simple head movements designed for people with upper limb disabilities who have challenges using their hands. So for this very innovation, we recently got recognized by the Dyson Foundation for the James Dyson Award, the national winner of this edition. That's wonderful. Do you know, uh, there are so many young engineers or students, you, you can say, who look for such platforms to support them. Well, how did you get to know about the James Dyson Award 2023? Oh Well, I've been following James Dyson Award for an, a good year and year and a half. One of my friends actually is a past winner of uh, the James Dyson Award, international winner. Mm -hmm. And uh, he actually encouraged me to apply for this right from I've been you know, following up. And right when the applications opened, I had uh, the right enthusiasm because uh, uh, this particular award recognizes product design and it was an enriching experience filling up the application uh, and month a month and a half uh, uh, the jury members were able to know screen us and uh, you know, finally uh, uh, announced the winners oh nice your invention which won this uh, james dyson award 2023 what was the uh, you know the main objective or inspiration behind it since you told me that you worked for disabled people so what was the real inspiration behind it you yes, know, as a classic engineer, I don't want to say stories or heart-touching stories which really don't have. But uh, uh, but one thing what I realize is that as part of I, I'm an electronics engineer, mm -hmm. and as a part of my academics and co-curricular co activities, I've always been focused on uh, social impact projects and uh, especially assistive technologies. So one thing what um, I want to uh, stress on a point is digital accessibility. Digital accessibility is playing a huge role nowadays. I mean, we are talking about digital India and we should also include persons with disabilities in it. And the society is known, uh, is already educated about wheelchairs, crutches, canes, braille. You know, these are the terms that we hear when someone says assistive tech or for person with disability. But there are new age uh, assistive techs coming up like most were. And why is it important? During the pandemic, everyone worked from homes. With what? With computers and phones. And is the environment accessible for a wheelchair person uh, uh, to go to an office? I mean, yes, organizations are trying to make it accessible, but it's not yet fully. Yeah. Then how would these people with disabilities still work right from their homes? For that, they need an, a proper input device to access those. Uh, digital devices and that's where mouseware comes in. It enables a hands-free solution for them to work with computers and phones. People can work with in banks, people can work in IT companies, people, uh, students can take, take up examinations uh, with this device, children can take up digital skilling with this, all with just 
a tilt of their head so after winning this award and i think a cash prize of 5 lakh rupees what are your plans for the further uh, development of your project yes the five lakhs is going to be uh, very useful for us uh, we got feedback from uh, uh, you know the jury people uh, uh, what kind of improvements can be made from a product design and also i want to take this outside india as well so when the cash prize is going to uh, which has already you know hit our bank uh, we are going to make you make that uh use for our product development we are going to make uh, it look more aesthetic we are planning to integrate uh, this particular technology into further wearables like into spectacles mm -hmm. into headphones so further product development changes is going to take place uh, with the help of the fund and also we are looking to uh, use this fund uh, to uh, go overseas as well so this award uh, and the cash prize has not just uh, uh, is going to uh, help us uh, expand overseas but it has already brought attention to uh, potential stakeholders like uh, you know investors and some tech companies who have shown interest to uh, have this uh, technology integrated with them and the conversations have begun so what advice do you have for aspiring student designers and engineers who wish to make a meaningful impact with their project take an example of me i am not an uh, uh, an entrepreneur by profession or i mean i haven't I haven't started any ventures in my past this is my first venture and even in my family there are uh, no entrepreneurs i am the first time entrepreneur and even until the last semester of my college i just wanted to you know uh, do my masters go abroad and study or do something but no life happened so what else is it you need not have an uh, a big uh, uh, a business man mindset or business woman mindset to start a venture just go with your flow and uh, making a social impact uh, differently uh, definitely makes uh, uh, a point when you start your first venture especially when you uh, start with assistive technology mm -hmm. when you start developing a product or designing a product for a person with disability you look from all the aspects you look at all the challenges that actually hardens you so uh, post which when you uh, start your next venture or you start to build your uh, uh, next product you would be automatically able to solve most of the challenges for the rest of the community since you have already solved a big problem for a person with disability wow I think all aspiring engineers and designers should definitely take a note from you. So, this was our conversation with the James Tyson Award national winner. Praveen Kumar's innovation is truly commendable and we can't wait to see more of his inventions in the future. Till then, prepare yourself as the James Tyson Award will be back soon in 2024. Stay tuned.